All right, I'm on hole number five of the 2019 Fall Major. This is going to be this. Okay, so you've got whenever you're playing a tournament, especially if you're new, if you've got a lower level account, if, if you haven't been playing for a long time, and even if you've been playing for a long, long time, my goal when I come to any tournament in any of these holes is to figure out what club, what, what's my club that I'm using off of the tee box and what ball. I mean, that's step number one. I, I And so a lot of times when I practice on a Monday with my main level account, my whole goal that day is to establish, am I bringing the right club in the ball? So I may have several clubs that I want to try out. So like in one account, I'll try it one way and in another account, I'll try it another. And I may continue to work a shot in one of my accounts and then work another shot in one of my other accounts to find out which one is giving me either the easiest opportunity to pick up the birdie on this hole and give myself an opportunity for the eagle. But what is the safest play here? The safest play, in all honesty, is to lay up right here and then get up there. Your odds of making this shot from the top to this green, I'm not saying you can make this, but it is super hard. I mean, super. Here's the spot right here, and here's the cup. And it happens in what? in game measurements, like 30 yards, you have like a 30 yard drop. I mean, for it's a, it's a seriously tough shot to get from here down to here and get that ball to go in the cup. Your best shot of trying to get into the cup is to get down here in one shot and it's, and you can do it because what you want to do is you want to run your ball through this gap and you want to have just enough speed so that when you press this ridge right here and it starts to fall, you've got enough speed carrying you through so that it'll roll through that rough and get out into this area. The trick is, is to not have so much speed that you roll through the area because look at the trajectory. Hold on. When you're coming through this area in order to clear it, you're coming through kind of like this. So when you engage this right here, you want the ball to be tailing off so that it's losing momentum as it comes here so that it drifts when it hits it and rolls in this direction. If you hit it too hard, it'll roll past that for sure, but you'll end up in that sand. So it's very tricky. It's, it's very delicate to try and get it down here on this, but I will tell you personally that I would rather take a shot from the rough down here towards the bottom than to take this shot up here because I think I have a much better shot of making that rough shot because you're closer to the hole. You got a much better look at it than you do when you're in the top. You do not want to get caught up in these trees. And, and here's a here's something I know. If you find yourself caught up in these trees, or even these trees, where you can't get a forward look at the hole, what you want to, what I'm going to do, if I find myself in that position, is I'm not going to press the issue and try and hit it through the trees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use this slope, and I'm going to try and put my ball in this area. Even if I'm hitting to the side like this, I'm going to put my ball in this area to try and get it to roll down that to end up on the flat down here because you can make this shot. It's still a difficult shot, but you can make this shot. But if you get caught up in the trees and you try and do it and then you hit the tree, now you're behind the trees again. So you can recover here if you can put yourself down there at the bottom. So if you do find yourself in the trees here, think about using this slope to try and get back down to that fairway right there instead of trying to push the issue and hit through the trees. So my upper level account, oh man, you want to use, you really want to use a really accurate club here. And, and I'm super excited about this hole in my upper level account because of the rock. Um, I finally got my rock maxed out, which was quite the effort. And then Playdemic buffed a bunch of clubs and they gave it five more yards. So now it hits 231, which is only five yards less than an extra mile. And it's a 100% accurate club. And so if you bring a power three, power four ball, I think the first time that this was, this tournament came out in the 2018 fall major, by the time it was over, I was using a Kingmaker X on this hole. And trying to weave and bob your ball through here so that when you engage this, it's got just enough momentum that it falls down that hill, rolls through the rough, and ends up right here on the fairway, um, right in front of the green. That's that's the goal. But to get this kind of distance in this account, um, my choices are going to be, 
I could bring a big topper here because it's got a lot of top spin and I could run it through, but it's super inaccurate. And I don't have a rock in this account. So my choices are either a QB, which doesn't have a lot of distance because it's at, at its level, or an extra mile, which is inaccurate. And I'm going to have to use the extra mile because I think it's going to be a distance issue. And I definitely want to bring a big ball. It's gone so long. Golf clash reset. So I'm going to bring my number one bag. And I'm going to bring a Titan. Let me think here. If I get in any kind of trouble, everything there should work. All right, let's try it out. First time this account's ever played this hole. When these holes first came out a year ago, um, playing them in my main in my main practice account. Never had to play these holes with lower developed stuff. You guys probably think I'm preaching, but the main thing about when you're playing these tournaments and you're out here practicing and you're going through these rounds is to establish the easiest way to get the minimum score. You have to get a birdie on this hole. You'd like to get an eagle. Because eagle, this is definitely an eagle of a hole. You'd like to get an eagle, but you need to get a birdie. And so at the beginning of the week, when you're out here playing and you're practicing and stuff, um, I'm not as concerned about what it's going to take. You know, like I didn't get an eagle in my qualifying round. My goal is to make sure that I can get the birdie as easily as possible. Okay, so the wind's going to push me forward. That's way too much side spin. Okay, so from where I'm at right here, the wind's going to push me out to my orange ring, somewhere in that neighborhood. And there's not a lot of room out there. I'm going to put a little bit of overpower on it. Hitting it perfect. See if we see what kind of roll through we can get on that. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. You can see how you can roll into that sand. So that right there is the goal. That's the shot that we're looking for right there. But it's so easy when you roll through that roll down that hill to end up in that sand. It's very, very easy. And the deal is, is that you can see how much fairway I have to the right of where my ball's at. The problem is, is that in order to get into that area, you've got to engage those trees more at the top. I mean, there's just a really small little lane right there. And this green has got moguls. It's on a hill. It's it's way down in the hole. It is a tough, tough green, especially when you're up there at the top. With upper developed stuff, this right here, I'd feel pretty good about it. But right now, with lower developed clubs, this is a uh, this is a very tough shot. Hit it great to the right. Oh, I can't believe that went in. <laughs> First time on this hole with this account, and I got an eagle on it. Hopefully that means good things are to come. But that is that shot right there. <laughs> so just to try and get down into that hole down there. And then you still have serious work to get done to try and chip that sucker in. But getting down that slope is the absolute goal on this. I in in my opinion, when you're shooting this shot, that's that's the only that's that's it. I mean, that's what you're looking for right there is that perfect roll going down that hill where you can avoid getting in that sand. 
and you can see what kind of shot my opponent have from up top. It's not, there's no, I, like I said, I would rather be in the rough as I went down the hill and get caught up in the rough. I almost, I truthfully, I would rather be in order of preference. This would be my least desirable shot. The sand would be my second least desirable shot. The rough would be my third. Obviously, my ideal shot is where we ended up. But trying to just bleed yourself down in there. And it doesn't take, you don't have to come at this with a lot of power and a lot of that stuff. You just, you've got to hit that shot perfect in order to give yourself a shot. And it's hard to get, like you can see from where I was at here, how much fairway there is on this side. But in order to get over to that side, these trees are in the way. So your, your window is just, you have this little teeny narrow window that you can fit into to get into the right spot. It's very difficult to end up down there like that. All right. That was hole number five of the 2019 fall major. Thanks for watching.